Hi, my name is George Ann Eubanks. I'm the writer of the Literary Trails of North Carolina guidebook series. Two writers who have a North Carolina connection but were originally from Georgia won Pulitzer Prizes. They're Margaret Mitchell and Caroline Miller. Margaret Mitchell is, of course, the better known for Gone with the Wind. She won in 1937, and she came to North Carolina to a writer's conference in 1936, right after her novel was published. So many people in Atlanta were calling her on the phone. They could look her up in the phone book or showing up on her doorstep to ask questions about Rhett Butler and Ashley Wilkes. So she fled to the North Carolina mountains. Caroline Miller won the Pulitzer even before Margaret Mitchell in 1934 for her novel Lamb in the Bosom. It was also a sensation, but unfortunately her fame was eclipsed by Margaret Mitchell in such a short time when Mitchell's novel came out. Caroline Miller wrote another novel, and it was published, but it was published during World War II, and there was a paper shortage, and without telling her, the editors cut part of her novel and published only a fragment of it. She was so discouraged, she never tried to publish again. She also got a divorce from her husband, who was an English teacher, in fact, her English teacher, who didn't much like being married to somebody who won the Pulitzer Prize when he had been the superior writer in his mind. Well, Caroline Miller's story ended up in North Carolina. She married a man and moved to Waynesville and spent the rest of her life living there and is buried in Waynesville. By the way, the only other novelist to win the Pulitzer Prize from Georgia was Alice Walker for The Color Purple. Thank you.